community teamwork. In the past, we had big families and the community was that extended families, you know, extended families form the community. Now we have single parent, single child, sometimes only two children, maybe separated by a few years, so the normal relationships when there was a child born every year or every, or every couple of years was no longer apply. But we need those strong relationships. We need to combine two major traditions from Confuci Confucius and Hengis Khan. Hengis Khan. Hengis Khan. Confucius, you know, said that the relationships within the family, you know, work within the relationship within the, in the society, the different orders, the firstborn daughter, the firstborn son. So we get a strong family, we get a strong society of people who know their place and can cooperate. But we no longer have that. We have a fractioning and an isolation of the individual and a concentration on the individual. You know, an incredible psychological pressure and financial strain and all sorts of nonsense blamed and piled upon the individual. So we need to restore the structure of our society, our communities, through teamwork. And this is the one based upon our nature that works. So we divide, when children are born, we put them in one of six groups or houses. The blue water are the Aquarians and the Pisces. Now the important thing is we stick rigidly to the signs of the zodiac, so there's an equal division. So someone's either in one side or the other. There's no nonsense about you being on the cusp. You know, you're in one sign or the other. So those in Pis Aquarius and Pisces are in the blue water group. The I see. I don't think I put those in, am I? <laughs> Let me look like that. Greenwood. Um, cancer. And um, that's kind of simple. What is it? And Gemini. The Greenwood. So cancer and Gemini go in the Greenwood. So we I'm not being perverse combining the Western signs of the zodiac with the Chinese elements. The Western elements are actually just trying aspects. These are the real elements to form an integrated system. So it's important to stick to these elements because it's a transmutation of the elements which is our social and psychological development and harmony and happiness. And these are the elements of Pisces, sorry, Aquarius and Pisces in the blue water group, Cancer, Gemini in the green wood group, Sagittarius, Capricorn in the yellow light, the yellow light group, Leo, Virgo in the red metal group, an orange stone or orange rock, orange earth, orange stone, are Libra and Scorpio. So when children are born, they're put into one of these groups. And then we follow the principles 
of Genghis Khan and put them into teams of ten. So when they're born, they're put into teams of ten. And if there isn't ten in one particular year, then they combine with the following year to form teams of ten. A hierarchy, a pyramid of teams of ten, like Genghis Khan had. So you read this or watch this video with, along with my teamwork video. Teamwork video shows our social relationships. Our social relationships, how we respond to sensory inputs with the personal output to tell each other, to relate to each other. We now develop this on the idea of Confucius, that we can have a birth team where who get to know each other, who care for each other. So everybody's in that birth, in a birth team of ten, and then one is selected to the next level of the hierarchy, as it as it as it goes up to share information upwards and downwards in the community. So you have these six teams. Now, in other aspects, which I'll come on to in my next video on the community education, when obviously we have teams based upon interest and ability in different subjects. This is just purely for the birth house from the astrological signs, which gives a system that we know works as a system. Psych astrology is not a system of causality, it's a system of correlation. And the easiest way is to use these six and then we can educate them separately on those teams. So we have the teamwork and then this community teamwork. So we follow the principles of Confucius. So we have an internal family structure from the birth teams into the social structure of the different teams the child's going to be in. So basically within the family, we create a family, if it is no fact, we create a family to get those family relationships. And then the society is built on the same model. Again, as I say, using Genghis Khan's idea, Genghis Khan, of the teams of ten, teams of ten which we know function, which is our nature. come on to the implications of these in my next video, the, you know, the community education, the quadripolar education.